Waste is one of Ghana's biggest problems. The country is now producing over 20,000 tons of waste every day. Nearly all of that goes unrecycled. Nowhere else do you see Ghana's filthy side as you do in Ashaiman. The volume of rubbish in Ashaiman is a big problem for us. Sometimes when it rains, this whole market is a mess. People have no proper way of disposing of waste, so they leave them in the drain. For years, many communities in the country have always relied on dump sites to dispose of waste. The situation has cost the country dearly in the past, leading to many natural disasters like floods. It was to control the alarming levels of waste that the Safisana project began in Ghana with a trial project in the heart of Ashaiman in 2014. Safisana is a, a private organization with a mother uh, entity uh, in the Netherlands, uh, set up Safisana Ghana Limited in Ghana. Uh, basically what we do is to uh, recycle organic waste, so we recycle waste from public toilets, waste from slaughterhouses, waste from the market, from the household, from restaurants, anywhere we get organic waste, we recycle it. We chose Ashema because this uh, concept, we realized that will best suit the needs in Ashama because Ashama is a, a heavily populated area. Sanitation is an issue. There's no proper treatment of fecal and organic waste. So we, we realized that this is a potential area where we could test our, our idea. The model sees waste as a resource. Employees of the company collect fecal and solid waste from urban slums like Ashaiman and feed them into the factory. Here in its main site, waste is treated in this digester to create biogas. This is how the recycling process works. The waste is brought into the digester. A process of anaerobic digestion is triggered. The organic biodegradable matter in an air proof produces the biogas. Different groups of microorganisms play different roles in the process. Two main outputs are produced, namely energy-rich biogas and a nutritious digestate, which can be used as an organic fertilizer. The biogas is a mixture of many gases dominated by methane, which has the capacity to burn and therefore generate electricity. The irrigation water and part of the organic fertilizer will be used to grow seedlings. Sales of these end products like electricity, biofertilizer and seedlings cover operational costs which allows the model to be sustainable. We try to make the model in a very circular way. So we take the resources from the community, we process it, the output goes back to the community. So there's electricity, for example, which goes back into the community. There's organic fertilizer, which goes back to uh, revive depleted soils. There's uh, irrigation uh, water. We have a greenhouse system where seedlings are grown. And then it goes back to the community to, to, to ensure improvement in agriculture. For many of the market women in Ashaiman, this project brings relief as they now make savings that they otherwise would have had to pay for their waste to be picked up every day. As part of the project, new toilet facilities have been constructed by Safisana, bringing places of convenience to poor, vulnerable people whilst creating a source of raw materials for the factory. One of the key people involved in this project are fecal waste tanker drivers. Many of them, until now, were traveling for long hours to dispose of their fecal matter. And worst of all, some of them disposing the human excreta into the sea. We used to drive for long hours. The roads are bad, and on top of that, we pay to discharge. Now, for those of us who come here, we are better off. We save money, and life is better. As the first biogas processing plant connected to the national grid, this project is breaking new ground for waste management in the country. 
It is the reason why the Energy Commission is involved in the project offering support to its sustainability. Otu Dankwa works with Ghana's Energy Commission. Biogas is a very good technology in that it addresses sanitation because when you talk of biogas, you are using waste to generate energy. Many farmers in Ghana do not have quality seedlings for their farms, resulting in poor farm yields. With the high quality seedlings grown from the Safisana model, the project is helping boost farming. So the model works in turning around problems into solutions themselves. A shaman used to be notorious for bad things. Unemployment was high. Now in this project here, it is changing things. Because of Safisana, people like us now have jobs helping to clean the environment. The result of the Safisana project gives hope that, after all, Ghana's waste problem could be turned around for the better. Waste management is the duty of government. And we, we, we are happy that our government is very receptive to private sector participation in development in general. That is why Safisana as a private entity coming in to help must be a welcome news for government. So government must encourage such initiatives. So we would like to replicate this model uh, in other parts of the city, in other parts of the country. Somebody must demand it and then we build it for, uh, for, for the community. That is why we are encouraging the government, uh, civil society, we are encouraging the investor community to buy into a model like this so we can replicate it in other areas. We are looking into the future to build at least five of these in the next five years.